Yeah, there's, there's a lot of interesting concepts on the LN Plus website right now. One thing I specifically want to call out is uh, you have this concept of like liquidity triangles and liquidity squares and pentagons and different shapes for yep. uh, moving liquidity around the network. So can, can you explain how those structures work for, for people who aren't familiar? Sure. So let's start with the problem that node operators have. So if you start your node from zero, like you just started an Umbrella node or an Embassy node or whichever implementation you prefer, your first problem will be uh, you have to create channels on it. And you don't just have to open channels to other nodes to get outgoing liquidity. You also need channels that are open I mean, um, empty on your side, so somebody has to open channels to you. So you can empty these channels in many ways, but um, I, I wrote a blog post about like 13 or 17 different ways of <laughs> creating incoming liquidity. So there's so many different ways to do it, but the main way is basically is that um, somebody opens a channel to you. And that way, instantly through that node, you are able to receive money. And if you open a channel to somebody, you will be able to send money. And you are not just sending it to, to that one node, you can send it to the entire Lightning Network, right? So to any node on the network. In the same way, if somebody opens to you, anyone can send to you. With some limitations, it depends really how well connected those nodes are that you are having channels with. But Typically, if you are connected with a, an, another node with more than a dozen channels, then you're good. So, so anyway, the point is that this is the biggest problem is that you can, as a new node operator, you can easily open a channel to any node on the network. But how do you ask somebody to open to you? Mm -hmm. Because what is their incentive? They're going to be putting up Satoshis towards you in that channel and you have incoming liquidity, but what is their incentive? So somebody came up with this smart idea to, to create rings of fire, they called it at the beginning, or swaps. And the idea is that the simplest swap is a triangle. You have A, B and C, three node operators and they agree to open channels to each other. So the simplest one, let's say, we open, all of us open a 1 million Satoshi channel. So A open to B, B opens to C, C opens to A. So we have three channels, everybody only opens one channel, but everybody receives a channel from somebody else. So this way, um, you are opening a 1 million Satoshi channel and you are receiving a 1 million Satoshi channel and therefore you can send and receive at the same time and it's in everybody's benefit and everybody is benefiting from the situation because we all grow our nodes twice as big so the node capacity so to, so to say is growing twice as fast because now you are showing 2 million as node capacity on your node rather than just 1 million because you have two channels of each 1 million. Right. And basically that's the whole idea. So this is just a, a, a simple way to, to organize people and make sure that everybody can have a node which is well balanced in a sense that has a lot of incoming and a lot of outgoing capacity and it's it's roughly the same so you can efficiently route money for others and you can also use the network efficiently you will be able to receive and send right that makes a ton of sense is there a way uh, how, how do you coordinate this kind of let's use the triangle as an example how do you coordinate get three nodes all at the same time to create channels with each other is there any sort of custody that has to happen of funds or what does that process look like? So right now it's it's very simple. It's based on reputation. So uh, when three node operators agree to join a swap, they all have like a gentleman's agreement that um, they will open 
the channel that they need to open and they don't have to do it at the same time just roughly at the same time within the two days we, have, we are giving people two days just because of time zones and possibly some technical issues who knows so we have two days to open a channel after the agreement started and everybody does their own thing with their own node their own way so there's no standard way to like you don't have to use thunder hub or uh, boss or some some specific tool to open these channels you use whatever you need and there's no um there is no enforcement of this contract other than the the social aspect that if you don't do it you will be voted down and if you do it you will be voted up so every node now has reputation on LN plus and some people have dozens of upvotes and zero downvotes so you can see that they're definitely a, a reputable you know player and it's 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 a good idea to to pair up with them and uh, yeah but this is today in the future we actually tested with Alex Bosworth uh, the other day um, a much cooler way to do the the channel opening uh, using his tool uh, uh, boss which is uh, balance of satoshis it's an open source tool and basically we could um, on testnet we could open very large channels between three nodes with basically one large transactions which has a bunch of inputs and a bunch of outputs and this is exciting on many levels so one is that you can save a little bit of channel opening fees the second is that it's trustless because everybody is opening at the same time so this is something we're going to be using in the future on Alan plus once it's ready this is still work in progress unreleased but it's coming soon but the more important more important and more interesting thing is that once um, the Lightning Network starts using Taproot, we will be able to compact all these complex transactions into a simple transaction. And that's really good for fees and privacy. So at that point, right now, the triangles are the most um, efficient way to, to open swaps because it's the smallest shape. So it's easier to organize than a square or a pentagon. We can talk about why squares and pentagons make also sense even today, but that's a different story. But anyway, the point is that in the future, once we are able to open these, these channels all at once with one transaction, um, it's going to make sense to create larger swaps uh, because it sort of up obfuscates the whole situation it will be harder to track who is opening to whom and how and all that and uh, right. well especially for private channels because you could open private channels too so there are some implications for privacy here